hey welcome everyone and uh, our today's topic is going to be very important and very interesting because today i will talk about neighboring group participation and this is the most important topic for any chemistry student and also in terms of competitive exams because uh, many questions are given from this neighboring group participation and when you read this neighboring group participation topic you have to be knowledge of all the reactions uh, name reactions and other all reactions you have learned previously also you have to be very good in drawing the orbitals the proper stereochemistry these all things are very important you have to be the sense of where electron is rich where electron is less so these all things come into play when you uh, talk about neighboring group participation and uh, while you read this you will be able to identify how much your concept is built on so uh, before starting uh, the uh, full discussion i would like to ask you a question that let's say you are given this molecule this bicyclic molecule where both the side they have double bond but in one side there is a chlorine and it is reacted with metachloroparbenzoic acid so you know when you react metachloroparbenzoic acid with any double bond it is the Prelieschips reaction and that will give a epoxide now either this so let's say it is used in one equivalent so either this double bond can be epoxidized or this double bond now say which double bond will be epoxidized so uh, if you if you think about the reactivity of these two double bonds first of all the both for both the double bonds the down phase is the endo endo phase and the up phase is the exo phase because in the down phase there is this bulky group so in the down phase there is this bulky group whereas in the up phase there is a small group so it is exo phase this is endo phase so so in any case the exo attack will be favored that is any nucleophile or electrophile which will react with this double bond they will attack from the exo phase but you can see that that in this in that particular double bond the exo phase is also sterically and uh, if you uh, um, if you talk about a nucleophile a repulsion will also be there with the chlorine lone pair so it is also sterically and electronically it is disfavored because the chlorine is there so in both cases if you consider about uh, up phase or down phase in both case this double bond is uh, the approach towards this double bond is difficult so you will tell that the, this is the double bond which will undergo epoxidation and you will get this product right so this is your answer but if you uh, if, if this is your answer that then you are not right you are actually wrong this you will not get this double bond will never react if you use one equivalent of mcpba instead this double bond will react now which phase it will react that is another um, question i i don't want to discuss about which phase it will react but the fact is that this double bond will not react instead this will react now why is this so in this case you have uh, in, instead of steric hindrance approach of the nucleophile besides that there is there is another important factor which is the which is most important here so if you draw the orbitals here the pi bond so these are the two p orbitals you can see these are the two p orbitals which forms this pi bond now you have the chlorine ccl bond loom over here okay so this is your ccl loom now you can see this double bond these orbitals are perfectly oriented to interact with this lumo so what happens this from this double bond they deliver electron into this ccl bond and that's why we can represent it like this so electron density is pulled electron density is pulled from this pi bond to this sigma star orbital so this is pi sigma star interaction so this pi sigma star interaction makes this double bond electron deficient 
electron deficient and that's why you know uh, with metachlorobenzoic acid the epoxidation is electrophilic epoxidation that is the pi pi bond donate electron now if it is already electron deficient then how can it donate so that's why the electronically it is not a very good nucleophile to attack on the metachlorobenzoic acid that's why it will not react but you can see here the orientation of these two groups are such that this this pi bond cannot reach the lumo of this ccl bond so it is its pi character its electron density is unaffected so it is perfectly uh, reactive for donation and that's why this double bond will react so this is the very simple case of uh, neighboring group participation where your double bond a pi bond which you rarely think as a good neighboring group but you can see if proper orientation is there neighboring group participation is possible even for a pi bond so two very important things uh, which affect the uh, affect the order of neighboring group participation is one is the electron factor that is generally if you have more electron rich uh, center and less electron rich center then the neighboring group, group participation occurs between them and the second important thing is that you have the two centers have to be uh, in correct stereochemistry in proper stereochemistry then only they can uh, do the neighboring group participation so if you uh, if you take these two points seriously and keep it in your mind then you the whole thing of neighboring group participation will be very easier to you okay so the next example which i will tell you that will clearly show you uh, the another effect of stereochemistry which affect the neighboring group participation so let's say you have this compound where you have a tosyl group here and here you have a acetate group and you are reacting it with H plus acetic acid you will get you will get which product so out of this reaction you will get a product this now instead of starting with this uh, this molecule if you start with this one so where you have this tosyl group in opposite side and oac group in this side then you react it with h plus acetic acid and you will get the same thing oac so you see in the both case you get this these and these are same so you get same product but this reaction is very faster very much faster so it is like a uh, thousand times faster than this reaction i don't uh, remember the order of uh, how fast is it is but it is very much faster than this now now why is the difference so for uh, to look into the deeper details of this reaction you have to draw the uh, starting materials in their proper uh, stereochemical form that is cyclohexane chair form and the first molecule where the both groups are cis you can represent so you can represent the molecule like this so here you have uh, let's say ots group and here you have oac group both are cis but in the second case where you have trans groups you can represent it like this so let's say here you have ots group and here you have oac group now it will be the stable iso stable conformation of the molecule but it can flip although the uh, most population will be on this side still it can flip to give you this so you have now ots group here and oac group here now what can happen is that if you draw the lumo of this so the lumo is here so this lone pair can easily donate electron into the lumo and that assists the departure of this oac group so you get this
actually i should write it in the half chair form that is it should be written like this okay now you can see so this is like this is actually stabilized so this is i i can represent it as a resonance stabilized cation like this the cat positive charge will be symmetrically distributed and now when the solvent that is acetic acid molecules will come so it will always give the boat a chair like product and you will get this so oac group here and another oac group here so actually the attack will take place from this side because that will give you the chair like transition so if attack take place from this side you will get a boat like transition state but in this case that doesn't matter because in both cases you are giving the you are getting the same uh, axial product diaxial product but you have to be careful while uh, doing this because otherwise you can do mistake so it will not give this product now you can flip it you can flip this actually my markers are out of ink so uh, you can flip it to get this now what will be there so your oac group will be here and this oac group will be here now this is possible for this trans isomer but if you consider cis isomer and if you uh, draw this you can see this oxygen lone pair cannot approach the lumo even you if you flip this so if you flip it what will be the structure so it will look like this when you flip it will look like this so now here you have your ots group and here its lumo is here and this oac group is now here so you can see in either conformation it can never approach to this lumo so that means the neighboring group participation of oac group is not possible in this particular case so it will normally it, uh, normally leave and that give a carbocation here okay and then your acetic acid molecules will capture this to give you the same product so you can see how stereochemistry is important for your neighboring group participation so this is a classic example of neighboring group participation and you will get find it in any book now uh, the third case and the last case in this video i will discuss about is this particular case so let's say you have this compound where you have a phenyl here and here you have a ots group so when you react it actually let's say you have also a methyl group here okay so when you react it with uh, any uh, in any protic solvent like uh, let's say in same thing like acetic acid so what will be the product so you will not get so if you consider about only nucleophilic substitution reaction that is this you will get you will uh, predict to get this product right but in uh, in the uh, real reaction situation you will get this product also now how can you explain this product formation so the same logic here you have to uh, draw the phenyl ring in uh, its proper way so this is your phenyl ring you can see now this pi electron cloud can participate so it can it can uh, it can participate here because the uh, lumo of the ots bond is here so this pi electron cloud can attack on the lumo and that will leave uh, that will facilitate this departure of this ots group and you will have this particular uh intermediate
this intermediate you can get so now you can represent this positive charge as a stabilized resonance stabilized positive charge here so this is the same thing which happens in electrophilic aromatic substitution in electrophilic aromatic substitution what happens your uh, benzene ring, benzene ring, uh, pi electron cloud participate and they attack on the electrophile. So you can think of a electro this as an electrophile which has low energy, low mo. So this pi electron cloud participate and you will get this intermediate. Now you can see the acetic acid molecule can open it in two possibilities. Either it can attack here or it can attack here and accordingly you will get these two products now the ratio will not be of course will not be same because this is tertiary center and this is secondary center but you will get these two products so this uh, this example implies that this phenyl group can also participate in the uh, neighboring group participation so till now we have seen that uh, there are three types of participation possible so one is your pi bond normal pi bond that can participate in neighboring group participation but that is an extreme case and i will show you another example of that is when you have let's say this compound where you have a ots group here and you react it with acetic acid so you will get this product Sorry, your acetic acid will attack here to give you this product. Now, let's say you have a slightly different uh, starting material where you have a double bond here and you have a OTS group here. So, in this case, sorry, in this case, if you react the same thing with acetic acid you will be getting this product now the both reactions are same but you can see that the special characteristic of this reaction is that the acetic acid group enters from the same phase from where the OTS group leaves and also this reaction is thousand times faster than the above reaction so why is this the same logic applies here. This pi electron cloud can participate here to clear to departure of this OTS group, and that will give you this intermediate. Then your acetic acid molecule will attack here to give you this product. So uh, you can see that a pi simple pi electron cloud can also act as neighboring group. Your oxygen lone pair can act as uh, neighboring group your nitrogen lone pair which i didn't show yet but nitrogen lone pair which, so any group which has a lone pair can act as neighboring group participation neighboring group and uh, your uh, benzene ring pi electron cloud can also act as neighboring group partic uh, participating group so these are the few examples i discussed in this video in next part of the video i will discuss more examples and more uh, interesting stereochemical features and uh, other things so uh, till now uh, goodbye and uh, thank you for watching and uh, like this video if you uh, if, if it is helpful to you and share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you